hey you guys and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a great day so the last video i basically showed you the kessler lighting which is currently up and i absolutely love it so the lights that was actually here they're now in the bathroom i'm gonna show you guys the bathroom once everything starts coming together pretty much i'm gonna be doing um tile vanity a little bit of trim work just something really light just to kind of spruce it up nothing too crazy because i'm really not trying to spend like a lot in that space but the sconce like that was here that's in there looks really really great so let me just explain to you guys really quickly that way you get a better understanding so the cabinet had to get installed and this light was out of stock for about five to six months along with the chandelier, which you guys will see the chandelier a little bit later on today with the install. And so I opted to get the same scones that's in my bedroom here. That way my electrician could do all of the hard wiring for the scones light. So this is not a plug or anything. It is hardwired here for those of you guys that have seen the process. And so I knew at some point these were gonna be coming in. I was gonna be changing them out. And I already had my head wrapped around putting the other um, scones in the bathroom. There's a great possibility that I might spray it black. I'm not sure, just because um, I know I have to get a mirror for that bathroom, but we'll talk about that in the future. So I knew I was gonna change it. I knew this was gonna be coming in and it came in. Um, so my electrician came yesterday and installed the chandelier and the sconce. So today you guys will see the install and then I also finished cleaning up the house yesterday i started cleaning i got really tired and i couldn't go any further so i stopped so then this morning the boys were off to school and i went on ahead and knocked everything out so you guys will see that there wasn't like a whole lot to do because i actually kind of scrubbed everything down if you're interested in seeing the full detail of that go to instagram i don't know i'm finding it just a little bit easier to just record and post on instagram i'm trying to do better y'all i'm trying to do better with y'all okay i promise it's gonna get better but I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the install so you can see the light. And I know someone's gonna say something. The other light fixture is already going to someone's home because someone came here, really liked the light, asked me for it, and it was just perfect. So everything has been repurposed. I didn't throw anything out. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the install and then we're gonna jump into the cleaning and that will be it for the video. You guys, it is about eight o'clock in the morning and my lovely electrician, Mr. Eric King, to change out the sconce. Um, I'm gonna have to do some touch up paint because it's uh, smaller, but overall, I do love it. It's such a beautiful light. Oh, you guys, I love it. You guys, oh my gosh, it looks so good. I am so happy with it. It looks really, really good. So this is pretty much the new light, of course, my office. And the next thing that I'm thinking about doing is the wallpaper. So let me show you guys real quick. So right now, these are the samples that I have for the wallpaper. And I'm thinking either this or this. This one here feels like it's going to clash with this. So I'm leaning towards one of these. I think I may still go and grab like one or two from the book before I make my final decision. But I'm definitely going for that like um, really soft and muted. So far away it looks like paint. But then when you come up on it, it's actually um, textured. So I'll show you guys something really quickly. Um, the really great thing about the wall is this trim kind of stops here. So pretty much the wallpaper would go all over the wall and then it would kind of finish off here. So I think it'll give a really nice look. And um, let me just, I always do this, but I feel like for the future person who's gonna be in this house after I leave, I don't plan on moving, but I always think about how the next family is gonna be in here. So my table is pretty much the size of a dining table, just in case you was wondering. It's about 30 wide. Um, it could still be a little bit longer, or you can do a round table. So you could still do a dining table in here and still have dining room. So I feel like they wouldn't necessarily have to change anything out unless they, you know, change 
of course the art and all that stuff but the bookcase can stay and i actually know two people currently who are in the process of buying a home and they're not really using their formal dining it collects dust no one's really using it so i feel like this will be a really really great space even in the future so i don't want to go too too crazy with anything so i'm keeping it as is but you guys again i must say i'm really loving the feel of everything and what i love also in my office is the crystals okay got my crystals i have to get something and wipe my can down it's almost done and then my diffuser but overall you guys i really do love my office so what I'm currently working on is the console table, which is in stock, and the art, which is also in stock. So between now and next month, I'll have the console and also the art, and then a mirror is going to be going here, and then I'm going to figure everything else out, but that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. So right now, what I'm going to do is pan to the kitchen and start cleaning that area. Stay with me. Only for a moment. I'm starting off today's cleaning in the kitchen, you guys. So pretty much yesterday, I tackled the living, the dining, my office, and I also scrubbed down the walls. After doing all of that, I was so tired that I was like, you know what? I'll tackle the kitchen in the morning. So I did put all the food up, but I pretty much left everything else out. Right now what I'm doing is loading up the dishwasher so that way I can start a wash. Let me just mention really quickly, you're going to see me on and off my phone. I have a client that has a delivery coming in so I'm keeping myself a little free. Um, let me just mention now you're going to see me kind of get on my phone here and there while the video is going. I do have a client that has a very small install that's going to be going in so I have to make sure that I'm available for that. But again, I'm going to be doing the kitchen, scrubbing the pots, the pans. I am using um, SOS. Everything will be linked in my Amazon store, the cleaning products, the vacuum, the brooms, um, cleaning cloths, and all that will be in the description box. So if you're interested in anything, please feel free to check that area out. But I'm going to go ahead and just tackle the kitchen. Only for a while.
Only for a while I regret Letting you go And you are mine I thought I'd be fine But now my, my heart don't feel right And this day doesn't go away Let me just go ahead and say it now in case you guys did not notice, I love getting packages. I really do. What I don't like is the styrofoam when they fall into these little tiny pieces and get every single wear. It was all over the window seat. It was all over in the kitchen, on the stove, on the countertops and stuff. So pretty much I ended up having to vacuum a few times just to try to clean it up. I feel like in the future, I'm probably going to start opening up the packages in the garage. That way, I'm not creating such a mess inside of the house. But again, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the island. Some of you guys have been asking the color. It came as is. Um, I didn't really do the color or a pigment. I looked at wood samples during the build, and I just selected the two-tone um, for the kitchen and then I also went with the same color for my office that's in the kitchen because I didn't want to break up the cabinets just in case like future so I wanted some level of uniformity in the house so I don't have a color to give to you guys unfortunately and then the cabinets again are white I This part of my cleaning is probably the most satisfying part of my cleaning process. The moment I get to light my candle, which lets me know that I am almost done. This is the 7th and Company candle. It is black owned. I shared it with you guys around Christmas and I'm sharing it with you guys again. It smells absolutely amazing. The scent that I am currently enjoying is intentional. The other scents are good also. I have them scattered all around the house. I know due to the price point, Jim Malone is quite expensive. So if you're looking for something to give you that luxury feel and still give you a really long burning, I will definitely check them out. I've been burning this now for about a month and I will say it smells the same as when I did um, burn it the very first day. 
Another tip that you guys may not have read on the packaging of your candles, you want to burn the candles for about four hours and then you want to go ahead and use your snuffer and then you can start it again the next day or maybe later on the evening if you did it in the morning. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to vacuuming. I am using my LG vacuum. Again, this is linked in my Amazon store. So if you guys are interested, click the link in the bio. That way you can see everything that I'm using in the video. If you're interested in anything, you are more than welcome to shop and look around. I have listings of home decor and other items in my Amazon store. Again, as I stated, this is the best part of the cleaning, you guys. The custom drapery for me. Yes, it is. I do have that available also. It will be linked in the description box down below for your purchasing pleasure. We gon' make it beaches. Stay in the, stay in the moon. For the night, way too many heartbreaks still on your mind. Let the flame burn down for a while. Let the flame burn out for a while. Stay in the moment. Stay in the moment with me. Give you a moment. To give you a moment with me. Spend all the roses. Spend all the roses with me. So you guys, that is pretty much it for the video. As I stated, the only thing left to do in my office is the consideration of the wallpaper. That's number one. And then number two, drapery. So, oh, and, and a rug. Don't tell nobody though. But the rug is going to be gifted to somebody. They already asked for it. Um, this was really, when I was doing my office in the other house, I just kind of grabbed it. But I already know the rug that I want. And it's so, matter of fact, <laughs> I might be able to show you guys a sample. This is the rug that I'm considering. It is a wool mix. So let me just tell you, having the rug in the living room and the rug in my bedroom and just like the feel of it, you can tell the difference. I know, you know, it's all good to do dupes and everything like that, but I'm trying to tell you, there's just certain things that you just gonna have to pay for to get the experience of it. And so I do wanna change this rug out. So I'm gonna do the rug pad, I'm gonna do the new rug drapery and then the wallpaper just because i just want overall for everything to just feel and look a certain way and since you know i don't have an excuse i just want what i want <laughs> i was trying to find a reason to give you guys like why am i doing all the extras and this i just want it i'm just gonna be honest i was gonna be like you know what well, no no excuses it's just, it's just what i want and so that's what i'm gonna be doing but I hope you guys enjoy. If you're looking for cleaning products, cleaning tools, it is in my Amazon store. Things are going to be linked down below. But overall, you guys have an amazing beginning of your week. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.